Hi there, my name is Nafi and now I am going to share to you some ideas about a creative drama. So let us know first, what is creative drama? So many of your early theater experiences involve using your imagination and creativity to act out stories, poems, or original ideas. This informal process of acting is called creative drama. Creative drama is an improvisational form of theater in which participants are guided by a leader to imagine and act and reflect on human experiences. Creative drama differs from formal drama in that the process of acting out is more important than the end result. That is, how the participants develop the activity is more important than the final product of the activity. Formal drama focuses on a performance in front of the audience as the important final product. Another important difference between formal drama and creative drama is that even though a literary selection might be used as the basis for a creative drama activity, there is no script or manuscript written in dialogue form for acting. The acting would be improvisational or imaginative and spontaneous. Improvisation is the key to creative trauma. And since the process is not a performance, creative trauma does not require an audience. So do you remember when you were in elementary school and your teacher read to the class, perhaps a storybook? After the reading, if your teacher had the class act out the story, then you and your classmates were sharing creative drama experiences. Even today, when the students in your science class actively become a tree or a solar system or a immune system, those are creative drama experiences. In creative drama, you hear a story or get an idea and then plan how to act out the dramatic action. Following careful planning, the scene is then played, either in parts or from beginning to end. An important part of creative drama is the evaluation that comes after playing out a story. When the acting out is over, all participants evaluate the activity. The leader guides the discussion to focus on what worked well during the playing process. Next, the discussion covers the changes that could make the activity more successful or the story more believable if were replayed. So replaying is acting out the story or activity again using the changes discussed. It enables participants to expand on their ideas. Replaying can occur immediately or it can be saved for another time. Leaders in creative drama activities often use a technique called side coaching. In side coaching, the leader or often your teacher talks you through an activity by making suggestions or giving you ideas. Side coaching may also provide an internal monologue the th or the thoughts of a character. Often this informal prompting helps participants incorporate important actions or meaningful concepts that might otherwise be missed. When the leader or teacher in creative drama actively takes part in the drama by playing one of the characters, we have a leader or teacher playing in a role. So experiences in creative drama provide you with the opportunity to explore theater in a comfortable and non-threatening way. There are no lines to memorize, no stage to stand on, no makeup, costumes, or hot lights to worry about, and of course, no audience. Because through experiences, creative drama 
In creative drama, you will come to understand and appreciate the art of drama or a story told through action and dialogue. Thus, creative drama helps pave the way for future theater experiences. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of my report. Thank you so much for listening. Stay safe, stay at home, and God bless us all. Bye-bye.